Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk. Now, should you apply an niacinamide serum to damp skin? Now, first of all, it does not matter if you apply to dry or damp skin, the efficacy will remain the same because your niacinamide serum is in a water-based formulation, so it already contains water and it is formulated in a way so it can properly absorb into the skin. Just make sure that you're not confusing damp skin with wet skin because that's what I often can see online. And so if you're applying your niacinamide serum to wet skin, this can create create a mess. So first of all, an uncomfortable feeling, even skin care peeling, and the worst case scenario would be creating sensitivity. And so you want to avoid those points. Therefore, I now want to share with you a straightforward proper application, keeping the focus only towards the cleansing step and niacinamide. Of course, if you have additional products that you want to include that you usually use, go ahead and do so, but you should get the main like idea out of this video, what it means to apply to damp skin and what you should not do. And so when it comes to the cleansing step, of course, this can be done morning and evening. Make sure that you're using a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. This can be an exfoliating acid cleanser, or regular cleanser, or even in the evening, an oil or balm cleanser to properly remove your sunscreen and or makeup from the skin. And then when it comes to your niacinamide serum, of course, this one can be used daily in the morning and or evening. And just go with the niacinamide serum that you have at home. I just have some examples right here to share with you the entire demonstration. So I'm going to go with the regular cleanser I'm using Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. If you have a different one, exchange it. Read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser. Usually with regular cleansers or exfoliating acid cleansers, they are meant to be applied to wet skin. So the first step that I'm now going to do is wetting my face and neck with lukewarm water. Then I'm using a bit of the cleanser, massaging it all over my face and neck, and then again rinsing it off with water. This can be done above the sink or in the shower. Either way is fine. Just make sure to properly remove it and there's a little tip that I want to include as well which would be specifically when doing this above the sink use those makeup cloths those microfiber cloths those are extremely soft if you're going to use them in between wet them properly squeeze them out and then gently swipe it across your face and neck and this can help you to properly remove any last traces of your sunscreen makeup excess oil dirt sweat and even your cleanser this way you're making sure that everything comes properly off the skin so let's go ahead and do this Use about one to two palms of your cleanser on the palm of your hand. About that much, more or less. Then massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute, making sure not getting it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And now go ahead and rinse it off with lukewarm water. Now you can do this by at first splashing some water onto your face at night, like especially when doing this above the sink. And then in between, grab your washcloth and then use it to remove any last traces of the skin. So now once you're done with your cleansing step, now it's the important part that you need to do. So first of all, right here, what I now have on the skin surface is the remaining water drops. So while I was washing my face, my skin was able to absorb some water and this is basically all the excess water that it can not absorb. So it is important to remove the remaining water drops on the skin surface because this now right here refers to wet skin. So now it's the time to take a clean towel and then gently pat all over to take off the excess water.
So, once you have removed the remaining water drops from the skin surface, now this refers to damp skin. So if you want to apply your niacinamide serum to damp skin, you now can immediately move on to the application of your niacinamide serum. However, if you want to apply your niacinamide serum to dry skin, then just go ahead, wait 5 to 10 minutes and then move on to the application of your niacinamide serum. So this is like clearly the difference. And it's not only with your niacinamide serum, it's with any other serum that you may have at home, specifically with hyaluronic acid this is where it gets confused all the time if you want to apply your hyaluronic acid serum to damp skin this would be now the time to apply it so just understand the difference between dry skin damp skin and wet skin and you're good to go so avoid applying your skincare products to wet skin then when it comes to your niacinamide serum um, of course this could be with any other serum as well go ahead grab your favorite ones that work well for you that are suitable for your skin type and skin concerns i have some examples right here so I'm just going to use the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum as an example if you have a different one that's completely fine and when it now comes to the amount of product that you're going to use make sure that you use enough so that you can evenly blend it all over your face and neck but over, don't overdo it. It does not need to be a thick coat. Just apply a very thin layer all over so it can easily absorb into the skin. So my general guide would be use between 3 to 5 drops for your face and neck. and then blend it evenly all over. And so once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now you can stop right here, that's already it. This is primarily what I wanted to share with you, but of course, if you now want to follow on with anything else afterwards, you can go ahead and do so. Just give your niacinamide serum a bit of time to absorb into the skin, which is usually about 30 seconds to a minute before moving on to the next step, and then there you go. Now this is what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it and if you now want to learn more about skincare I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincaring! Bye!